Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel and today we're at Mild Melty Cheeses episode number 16 where we're looking at pepper jacks, various kinds of pepper jacks. So it's a version of Monterey Jack which is listed here in this book, My Guide, The Book of Cheese by Liz Thorpe. And she not only uh, approves of adding peppers to Monterey Jack but she has some favorites and mentions some in her Havarti Gateway chapter, which is where I found all these. So she recommends Cabot's and Maple Leaf cheese brands. The most common way to take it up a notch is by adding hot pepper to produce the world's greatest nacho topper, Pepper Jack. For this, I especially admire Cabot's lack of fear when it comes to heat. So Cabot's one of the brands we've got here. So. That's all she mentioned about Pepper Jacks, but she likes these brands and uh, we'll be pulling out some of those brands. But I'm just going to go through these pretty quickly and taste them all, mostly for like, you know, texture and mouthfeel. How good of a cheese is it and then how hot or spicy or how well do they use the jalapenos. But before I start cutting these things, let me remind you to like the video, leave comments and questions down below. Share it with friends, subscribe to the channel, and click on that bell to get notified when the new videos come out. So I have pre-opened most of these packages. This one actually came all cut up in little cubes, and it was uh, vacuum packed in a little bag. So I've been, I just pulled it out and broke it up and put it in a bowl. These other ones are, hmm, there might be a tiny chill on some of them, but they've been out of the fridge for a while. So I'm just going to go in. Some of these I ordered from uh, Wisconsin suppliers. Uh, Wisconsin Cheese Mart probably is uh, the source of some of these, and the other ones are just grocery stores. So this one's Martin Wine Cellar, a uh, foodie place here. This was from a grocery store. This I found in a grocery store. This one came from Wisconsin Cheese Mart. They all have plenty of red and green specks, as you can see. So, I'm going to just cut some off and give it a little taste. So the first one, Springside Jalapeno Jack. Very wet cheese, not very salty, <laughs> and big chunks of jalapenos that you notice when you bite into them for the size and the heat. Oh, pretty hot overall for a small piece. Hmm. Wow, that is up there. So I'm not a fan of the texture. It's soft and on the limp side and uh, very, very wet. But if you're going to melt it, it probably doesn't matter that much. Let's see. Okay, this spring side is a contender for our flavor and heat. Next, I'm going to go after Buckhead Valley Farms. Pepper Jack Longhorn. Which I got in the cheese department at a local wine and liquor store. And it has a pretty good deli and a cheese department. So that's more than I need for tasting. So, Buckhead Valley Farms. Oh, cheese is interesting. I like the flavor. The dairy notes are a little different than most of the Monterey Jacks have been. But this, again, high moisture, low salt. Wow. 
and not very peppery. Let me cut more. So I missed I missed all of the pieces. Or it's not very intense. Let's see this piece. It's got a few pieces. This one has maybe had more pieces of pepper. When I hit them, it's very mild. So I'm looking and looking. It's an okay cheese. And very mild on the heat. So more cleaning. More cleaning of the knife and more cleaning of me. Okay, now I'm moving on to Rumiano. Sounds like an Italian name from somewhere in California. Yeah, it's a California Creamery. Organic, pasture raised on family farms. And it just says jalapeno peppers. Oh, okay, everything's organic there. Organic sea salt. Not raised using chemical fertilizers. I'm sorry, I don't make. I don't mean to make fun of all that stuff. I just do. Okay. Rumiano. Not seeing lots of pieces. Let's find out. Mmm. Firmer texture. Oh, I like that. And places in this part of California are closer to the origins of Pepper Jack, of Monterey Jack, than uh, these places in Wisconsin. So it's a good cheese. Different. It would stand out in the world of Monterey Jacks I've done so far. And it's very mild. <laughs> this could pass as a Monterey Jack. Not really getting many of the chili notes. There's a little piece sticking out. So nothing offensive at all. Good cheese. It might be the lowest level heat. I can't tell which of these two is the mildest. So not, not exactly what I was expecting. Oh, and here's the cabot. Which Liz says is fearless, and there are heat levels. So she might be speaking from a lot of experience. Because I think she's been in retail in cheese quite a bit. You would know some of these things. Wow, that's some colorful specs there. I'm going to cut plenty. In case it's really good, like she says. Okay, Cabot Pepper Jack. It tastes like jalapenos. Cheese is soft. Modestly salted. And I taste jalapenos in here. Okay, yeah. It's building up from the back here. So I think this one's my favorite so far from the... Yeah, I don't know. This is a better cheese. This strikes me as a better Monterey Jack. And the heat level is second of, of these four I've done so far. So yeah, I think this the Cabo might be my favorite based on the cheese quality and characteristics and the heat level. Just on heat, this is number one. And now I'm moving on to this already divided, already cut up one from, I bought it at Wisconsin Cheese Mart and it's called High Temp Pepper Jack. So I have pictures of all these that I'll throw on the screen. But I just need to grab a few pieces 
Mm. Wow, it's a good cheese with a different character. And I can, uh, the pepper, peppers are in there. I can tell them right away. So these two are too mild if you're really after some uh, fire and pepper spice. These three are all, yeah, this one's, this one's quite a bit hotter. These two are about the same. Okay, this is tasty. I'm gonna have to make something with this since it's already cut up and divided. Okay, so that is excellent. I like the cheese, the Monterey Jack part is uh, distinctive. And I'm not sure I can say why. And then there's a good level of heat. About as much as the cabot has. Okay, so I think that'll do it for this five. I'm gonna bring in another five samples and we'll go through all those back in a flash. Okay, so I'm back with the second round of pepper jack cheeses. There, we're tasting our way through to see if anything really pops out or stands out as an excellent cheese. So I have a couple here that I think might be the same thing. This is Whole Foods 365 brand organic pepper jack. And, it, and this is uh, prepackaged and in the case with the other prepackaged things, but this was in the cheese case. 365 by Whole Foods Market Pepper Jack. It doesn't make any claims about organic, but I think it might just be the same stuff. But I have no idea. But I will see if I can detect differences in the texture or flavor. But I've been eating on this one, so this is been open a while, but I don't see any moldy specks or anything on it that would cause concern. But just for flavor purposes, I'm going to cut off the edge here and set it aside. And eat fresh surfaces. And then this is also likely the same thing. That should be enough to taste and tell. So, the pre-packaged one, I'll give it a try first. Good green jalapeno flavor. But, it's not very hot, and the uh, cheese texture is very wet, moist, not very solid at all. Good flavor. Authentic jalapeno flavor, yes. It tastes fresh and green against a mild, wet, young cheese that I wouldn't identify as Monterey Jack. So good, it'd be good on crackers, good on a cheese board. Good with things, melted on a burger maybe. Now I'm going against the uh, cheese case version. Which might be the same thing or might be different. Better texture, firmer. Less pepper influence, less jalapeno in it. I don't taste anything green. And most specks appear to be red. Let's look at the back, it's got both. 
green things and red things. So I like the texture on this cheese much better. I'm getting a few pepper notes. Just gotta hit the right piece. So I would think if this was organic, they would claim it. And I don't see it on here anywhere. And this one does claim it. So that's suggesting maybe that they're different cheeses with different origins. Okay, I like this one better. It wins the flavor and texture cut. No. Wins the texture contest. This one's the flavor contest. And now I'm moving to a cheese spread. Pine River, Pine River Pepper Jack Cold Pack Cheese Spread. So it sounds promising. But if you read the ingredients carefully, you see pepper jack and sharp cheddar cheese are listed first. Then they list all the things inside. The uh, jalapenos, bell pepper, cayenne pepper. So it's not just pepper jack. And this has been out coming to room temperature slowly for a while. I'll put a pretty good gob on this low salt trisket and see how cheesy it is or if I can detect the cheddar in there. Yeah, that's a big gob. It's wet. It's a little tangy. Hmm. There's a sourness to it and there's a heat. But I'm not detecting a jalapeno flavor or a green chili flavor as the source of the heat. With jalapenos and bell pepper, you would think you could pick up some green. There's a sweetness to the cheese also. So, if you put it out on a cheese board, or put it out with uh, other things to eat, I think it would disappear quickly. But it's not giving me, oh, wow, that's hotter. The pepper flavors I'd be looking for in something like this. So I'm probably being a little too picky, but it's, it's got heat, but it doesn't have pepper flavor. Okay, yeah, it's tanginess to it. A sour or lactic or I don't know what it could even be lime <laughs> but it is not scratching my pepper jack itch but it will go away it's a good snack more cleansing so that's what I ordered from Wisconsin when I was ordering some of these other things and trying to put together a collection of high quality cheeses. So I don't know which one to do first here. These are both habanero based. I left them for last in case they just burn off my taste buds. I don't see, wow, I don't see ingredients. Don't they have to do that? So this one's maple leaf cheese, which is one of the brands that Liz likes. And this one's Tillamook which I think is based in New York. Tillamook, Oregon. Okay, oh, missed that one. So I will cut a piece of this guy. And see how the habanero based cheese does. Oh, it says habanero and jalapeno, so let me scrutinize the ingredients. 
Milk, habanero salt, jalapeno enzymes. So, okay. Wow. So, habanero is not hot enough. I mean, it's hot enough, but it doesn't taste very green. Maybe people are looking for that green flavor. So, here goes a piece of Tillamook. Nice texture. This is carefully made cheese. There's some heat. Some of it's green. Some of it's that fruity habanero flavor that I'm sometimes not a fan of. This is okay. Yeah, if I was tasting this, I would say right away, this is habanero based and I don't get anything green really. Huh, yeah. And I think the heat's going to keep <coughs> building up. Good flavors. Faithfully represents the chili pepper that's in it. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's wonderful, but this will be my last piece. So the fat in the cheese gives you some protection from that heat. And it's not just uh, habanero pieces hitting you full blast, but as soon as some uh, capsaicin from those lights you up, it just it, the fat in the cheese kind of washes that away or removes it fairly quickly compared to some other foods or other ways to eat the chilies. So yeah, full <laughs> habanero flavor there. That is satisfying if that's what you're looking for. And now I'm going to cut off a piece of the maple leaf cheese. Monterey Jack with habanero. It's very soft. It's very wet. And the peppers are very orange. There is one. Smash it back in there. Get that back in. You have no purpose outside of this cheese, so just get back in. Nice soft texture and very wet. So let me take a piece that I, where I don't see any chilies in it. Mm. It's going to read ingredients, but it doesn't have any. So that is hot. You can see the habanero pieces are small and very fresh looking. They're the orange kind. And it's hot. And the cheese is nice, wet, uh, fairly firm. Melts easily. And I don't pick up the fruitiness of the habanero as much as I did in the Tillamook. So it's hot, it's uh, sort of habanero-like, and sort of not. If that makes any sense? <laughs> That's not going to help. So I'm still deciding which one I'm going to use in a little you know, nacho melting experiment. I'm not going to make fancy nachos. I'm just going to melt some of those cheese on some tortilla chips. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do one of the habaneros or want to do this nice one that had texture or this one that had jalapeno flavor. So I think I'm going to mix the Tillamook It's not going to be very many. So I'm going to mix a slab of the Tillamook and a slab of the Whole Foods non-organic labeled from the cheese case. So there's my starting materials and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back with my nacho, simple nacho creation. 
of just cheese melted onto tortilla chips. So this is roughly a 50-50 mixture of the of the Whole Foods cheese counter. Uh, Pepper Jack that had a good texture and and maybe 40 or 50 percent of the Tillamook that had a really good flavor and texture. So it's just kind of a mixture of both cheeses that were shredded and tossed together so I, there could be anything on any piece. Some of the saltiness of the chips jumps out first. I can't say there's a lot of heat in that first piece. Let's try another one. So the texture of the melted cheese is very good. Okay, that that one had some heat. A little bit more than the first one. And <clears throat> yeah, I found some heat. There's a little bit more of the melted cheese and I I think that's a big chunk of the Tillamook. Heat and melty cheese texture. It's cooling off a little bit, so it's getting stretchy and um, back to uh, room temperature stuff. So this is a good melty cheese. You can tell it's a cheese and not a processed thing. It'll make it fluid for much longer. So there's so many variations on pepper jack or pepper cheddar or pepper whatever <laughs> that uh, you could spend quite a while looking for candidates and looking for your favorites. So go exploring. Next time we'll run back into our regular survey of all the different mild melty cheeses out there. So, cheers.